Hey there, welcome back. This is Presley from Garden Sir Goa, and in today's video, we are going to do an update on my monster Albo, so which is this plant. So let us start. So I got this plant in uh, September 2021, and in these months, it has done really well. It had, I think, only about uh, four leaves that time when I got it and one was on the way and now it has a lot of uh, leaves these were the original leaves so this one then this tiny one this one the one i think uh, is dying off now and these ones came up later so i fixed it uh, on the moss pole as soon as i got it and i think that helped it a lot to grow and it has reached now on the top so I think I'll either need to cut this, make cuttings or be get a bigger moss pole so this side is much better to see uh, it has a lot of uh, aerial roots and it is not exactly holding on to the moss pole tightly because these roots are just aerially just going nowhere I had a tough time trying to fix this uh, plant on the moss pole so I had to tie it uh, with these ribbons and then uh, slowly but uh, surely it started uh, hanging on to the moss pole but not uh, fully yet. So this is the original node from which the plant came in. The initial leaves were nicely variegated. Even the one that came in later was nicely variegated but suddenly after a few leaves it started losing variegation, not much variegation was there. Like you can see here most of the leaf is green and very few uh, places it had variegation. Also if you can see this, plant, this leaf is almost green and it's very difficult to see the variegation. And after this one came this one this one had very good variegation at least at the bottom the top half was green then this one came in this one almost had nothing but only here if you can see there is very very little variegation so it's like almost 99.999 percent of the plant is green but very tiny amount is variegated here and i think slightly here so I was scared that uh, the plant may lose variegation and may have to chop it off but the next one that came in had good variegation but not much but like a fourth of it was variegated so I only put a, a cow dung and maybe goat dung as a, the manure for this plant and compost and I think that has helped the plant to grow uh, good so this plant receives uh, very little direct sunlight and uh, most of the sunlight is indirect uh, early morning and I keep it in the corner you may have seen uh, this plant a lot in my videos in the background since this is my first uh, variegated uh, elbow I don't feel like chopping this I want to keep it growing as much as it can and then maybe probably I'll buy another one and then uh, chop it off and make more uh, plants with that one so this one I'll keep probably for a long time but I'll need a bigger moss pole because I'm running out of space now uh, when I got this plant this was the most expensive plant that I got ever and it's still ever because all the other plants that I got are nowhere close to this one so the other plants that uh, neighbor my monster albo is this big guy monster deliciosa then I have Epipremnum pinnatum, the normal version. Then I have Epipremnum pinnatum, which is the variegated version which I got recently. Uh, this became my second most expensive plant. This is pretty big, so I'll, I have a separate video on this one that will come out soon. And then the other neighbor is this monster Esquilato. This big lovely plant. So let me know in the comments what do you think, shall I keep this plant as is or shall I chop it off and make more tiny monstera albo variegated plants. 
So I'll be making a separate video on the list of all the expensive plants that I have in order, starting with this guy. So until then, see you. Take care. Bye bye.